For a second day, Detroit bus drivers walked off the job, and it now looks like they could be headed to court. The city is looking for a judge to send the union back to work, but as Rod Maloney shows us, the drivers are banding together, claiming their safety is at risk, and they want more protection. The union says it's not a strike, it's not a wildcat, it's just a walkout for safety purposes. The Rosa Parks Transit Center here, quiet as a church mouse, the 24-7 operation ground to a halt, all over the firing of a single bus driver. September 8th, driver Jerome Dillard pulls up to a stop. A young man gets on and Dillard asks, the maskless young man's response inaudible, he pulls his coat over his face. Saying nothing, Dillard idles the bus. Shortly thereafter, the young man gets up, removes the COVID distancing chain in the bus, asking, out of nowhere, Dillard's fist slams the young man in the face. They then fall to the floor, Dillard swinging away. For this, he's being disciplined. Amalgamated Transit Union Local 26 President Glenn Tolbert says of the altercation. And we ask that Mr. Dillard's um, it's, um, his video be looked out, looked at by outside party because right now we don't feel that the the department is uh, has our best interest in heart. And Tolbert backed Dillard's reaction. He snatches the chain in an aggressive move. He then stands over the driver with his fist ball. If you slow it and stop it right there, he stands over. The, You're not gonna move the bus. And at that point, yes. I mean, what, how much do I have to take before I defend myself? Mayor Mike Duggan, on the other hand, says while the paying customer overstepped the boundaries. That passenger should not have come up and crossed that line. Uh, that was inappropriate. The driver was way out of bounds and is suspended as a result. I got to tell you, I, I'm disturbed by the response. It wasn't go back to your seat. It wasn't stay back behind the line. Uh, and, uh, and I think the steps that DDOT have taken to date uh, are appropriate. Now, the union tells Local 4 that the city is threatening to get a judge to have an injunction forcing them back to work. We asked the mayor about that, and he says, yes, if it comes to that, he will. He says, but he doesn't want it to have to be that way. But he says if the union talks to its lawyers, they'll find out that this walkout is not only a violation of the contract, it's also a violation of state law. In downtown Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. All right, Rod, we've also learned buses will not run again tomorrow, but we are told talks between the city and the union began this afternoon. The smart bus system has agreed to pick up some of the routes on Gratiot and Woodward.